This is the weird, reclusive figure who ran the world's most secretive country and did it as though it was his own private property. Looking on was his son Kim Jong-un, who's around 28, no one knows for sure. He'll take over. The old leader died on Saturday, but his people were only told today. The news unleashed a storm of emotion, genuine or otherwise. In North Korea, you have to mourn the leader as noisily as possible, especially if the cameras are on you. But if you're a member of the political elite, you may well be sorry he's gone. No one knows what'll happen to the country now. For 17 years, Kim Jong-il was the leader of the last and most extreme of the world's dictatorships. He was distinctly odd, sometimes gentle, sometimes capable of frightening rages. He seems to have been born in Russia, but he was always destined to succeed his father, Kim Il-sung. But when the Soviet Union collapsed, Russia stopped propping North Korea up financially. As a result, their national income halved in a decade, mostly on Kim Jong-il's watch, and there was an actual famine as well. I mean, it's an extraordinary failure of leadership by one who laughingly styled himself as the dear leader and later as the great leader. As a result, Kim Jong-il leaves behind him a country which is appallingly poor. This girl, filmed secretly by a South Korean journalist last year, has been collecting grass to eat. There's nothing else. And this is where the money which might have been spent on better living conditions actually goes. On the world's fifth largest army, a million strong. And even more worryingly, North Korea has now developed long-range missiles capable of carrying nuclear warheads. We hope, of course, that it will be a turning point for North Korea. We hope that their new leadership will recognize that engagement with the international community offers the best prospect of improving the lives of the North Korean people. For now, though, a pampered, wholly inexperienced 28-year-old controls the future of North Korea. And the fear is that Kim Jong-un's spectacular promotion could end up in a nasty power struggle with the older military elite. And this in a nuclear state which seems seriously out of control.